about to go into this message, but it's so much power in Thanksgiving. Um, it is amazing. I was start going to start at verse 20 through 21, but I'm just going to back up just for a minute because God is just amazing. And 14 through 16, the message says, talking about But it's basically talking about gratitude. Um, they went and while still on their way became clean. One of them, when he realized that he was healed, he turned around and came back shouting his gratitude, glorifying God. He kneeled at Jesus' feet, so grateful. He couldn't thank him enough. The Holy Ghost is bad. He couldn't thank him. I'm reading from the message. He could not thank him enough. And he was a Samaritan. <laughs> Jesus said, were not ten healed? Where are the nine? Can none be found to come back and give glory to God except this outsider? What is wrong with you that know me? That is basically what he's saying. That is basically what he's saying. What is wrong with you that know me? Then he said unto them, Get up on your way. Your faith has made you whole. Your faith has made you whole. Now, 20 says, now when he was asked by the Pharisee, when the kingdom of God will come, he answered them and said, the kingdom of God does not come with observation, nor will they say, see here or see there, for indeed, the kingdom of God is within you. Praise the name of our God. Jesus Christ, our elder brother, our Lord, and our Savior, be seated, came to manifest the kingdom. If you want to stay and stand, but if you want to be seated, be seated. He came to manifest the kingdom. And I want to talk about releasing the kingdom and what that looks like. What does it mean to be a carrier of the kingdom? What does it mean to be a carrier of the kingdom? Um, pause right there. There are a couple of updates on the church calendar. Um, and we will give those dates. Our encounter night is actually moved. And I did this on yesterday, so forgive me, Cameron. But the encounter night is moved. You'll get a new calendar today. And we have another special guest coming this month by the name of Prophet Kevin Leo. Yes. Praise our God. Worthy. He's worthy. God has given us this house extreme favor. And he's come to speak into our new day. 
This entire month is a new day celebration. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So we'll have singing, dancing, deliverance, prophecy. Yeah. Counsel. And the word. Yes. We thank God. So uh, look at your calendars. There is a mandatory meeting on there for leaders and that new flow chart and all of that is will be coming out this week. Um, this is a good time. I was thinking last night. Mm, no, I'm not going to say that. All right. Luke uh, 17, to 20, 17, 22 through 21 is our theme scripture. Okay. All right. So. The realm of the spirit is, the realm of the supernatural is the realm beyond science. It's the realm beyond our understanding. It's the realm beyond sight. It's the realm beyond comprehension. It is the realm that uh, the, the, the nature of the king is manifested in. It's what you see manifested externa externally. Um, Y'all pray for me. What you see manifested externally as it relates to deliverance, as it relates to power, as it relates to supernatural wealth, and all of these things, these are the manifestations of the kingdom of God. But it is beyond human explanation. The word supernatural means beyond or above the natural. This is where God operates. He is not normal. He is not on our level. He is beyond our comprehension. And whenever we try to comprehend him or to put him in the box, <clears throat> it brings a level of frustration because none of us can know God fully. It is a realm where heaven and earth intermingle. The realm of interaction between God and man. The kingdom being within us is a portion of God inside of us that should be released through us to manifest the king of the kingdom. So cultivating a relationship with the Holy Spirit <clears throat> is extremely important. important. Having a life of prayer is extremely important. Living a life of faith is extremely important. Living a life of honor is extremely important. Which is why whenever God wants to manifest a level of power through you, um, the first thing he begins to deal with is your character. Because it is said that you'll give can help you get there but it's your character that will keep you there offense will bring you out of the supernatural realm accusations will bring you out of the supernatural realm what should be normally attracted to you will begin to repel your presence because um, the, the, the manifestation of the kingdom through you must also be housed in a house of honor amen and so when Jesus was preparing his disciples for his coming death the resurrection and his return to heaven he told them that one of the reasons that he needed to go was so that the Holy Spirit spirit could come all right and so that we'll find that in John 16 5 through 16 why am I pointing that out because when the Holy Spirit comes he comes to bring a level of understanding of the kingdom you will never have a full revelation of it or a full understanding of it until you go to heaven which is why it's important that you be a part of a body that has an understanding because God will begin to surround you with people that are like-minded so that he his will, say his will, can come into the earth. When we see the model prayer, I reference this a lot because it is a model. Amen. It is not a prayer that we pray repetitiously. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. No, that is not what Jesus' intention was because he references not to pray prayers of repetition within the same verse. Amen. And so he was giving them a model. And so when he says to pray, thy kingdom come, somebody going to get it probably toward the middle when he says to pray uh, thy kingdom come he also says to pray thy will be done in order for the will of God to be manifested it is manifested in his uh, uh, in his order or after his liking so he brings you into a body he gives you a group of believers and he brings you into this camp to be trained but not just to be trained in your gifts to be trained also in your character Say character is key. Character is key. Or king. 
<laughs> Cultivating a relationship with the Holy Spirit and an understanding of the supernatural is an exciting part of the spiritual journey. Sadly, some people in church never get this. They never come into this understanding because there are some um, believers that believe that um, that was just for the book of Acts. They don't believe that the power of God should be manifested in the church today. But Jesus had begun to communicate a message with his disciples, and I'll get to some of the scriptures in a moment, and let, that let them know that this is bigger than me. He said things like, I'm going to go away, a comforter will come, but he also says things like, uh, greater things will you do. He'll let them know what I model is just the baseline. There is something greater that is coming, and it's going to come through my spirit being distributed throughout the kingdom. Somebody say, thank God for the spirit of Jesus Christ. Scripture has so much to say about the Holy Spirit. And he is, and what he is, who he is, and what he does. Far more than we can delve into in this 30 minutes that we have left. But I want you to go on the journey this week as we go into our second week of fasting. The works of the Holy Spirit. What did he do? What did he come to do? Not just what did he come to do. How did it evolve? How did it evolve based on the understanding that the church began to get as we came into uh, the understanding? of teachings and even models like Catherine Coleman and, and, and Catherine Coleman and, and, and uh, Amy Simple McPherson. We see these people moving in the demonstration of the power of the Holy Spirit and their life begin to teach us something. Say God wants to demonstrate and he wants to demonstrate through me. Signs and wonders are God's way of showing off his power. He wants to boast in the face of unbelievers, not to bring them to shame, but to bring them to a point of belief. He wants to boast in the face of those who will turn their back on them to show them how powerful he is and how awesome he is and how much you need him. When we see the miracle working of power manifest in the church, it brings us to the point of awe. It shows forth his splendor. It shows forth his majesty. Come on in here. It shows us how powerful this God is that we serve. There are many other religions, but their God is dead. And But over here, our God is alive. Even through um, those that serve um, the God of witchcraft, there are many gods. They are all, they are all models copying what the true and living God does. It is powerful to serve the king. It is powerful to serve a living God. A God who created the model and everybody else has to follow. Isn't that powerful to be in a kingdom with a king that is alive and that has power to speak a thing, has power to legislate and has also given you power in your mouth to say what we will be and it will be he is giving you power he says speak to the sick and they will be healed yeah what's your scripture apostle he said call on the elders of the church and let them lay hands come on there are many gifts there are many gifts but what one spirit he is the distributor of the supernatural and aren't you grateful to be serving a God yeah that has power to do something. Yes. He got power to do something. Watch this. You got power to do something. Yes. Perspective is everything. You can see in the supernatural realm, it seems to be, those things seem to be out of this world. When you look at miracle working power of God, just for instance, if you look at a person being delivered and you see the manifestation of demons on the person and it, it, it they, 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 yeah, it can kind of, it can kind of freak you out if you, 
if you're not grounded in God. I remember being in a session. I'll get more into deliverance in a minute, but I'm going to tell this one story. I remember uh, I remember being in a session, and it freaked me It freaked me out, not, not fear, but what was manifesting was wild, right? And I'm sitting there looking. I'm outside of myself looking at it, and I said, God, this is wild. And Holy Spirit says, sober up. And I had to sober up and begin to cast the devil out because it, it brings you to a point of awe. Awe struck at the power of God. When the kingdom come, all darkness has to dissipate. Light comes in and people that were bound are now free. That is supernatural. That is powerful. That is powerful. I remember being in a service and watching a leg grow out right in front of me. And it shook me. That's the supernatural. That is powerful. That's the kingdom manifesting. The Holy Spirit makes what was impossible possible. What seemed to be out of this world comes into this world. It becomes real. It manifests before our eyes. And watch this. All of it happens through the supernatural gift of faith. Without faith, it is impossible to please them. That's not where I'm going. Without faith, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> without faith, none of these things can manifest. Every man has a measure of faith. And according to the measure of faith that he has, does the supernatural become real to him? What do you believe? What is your measure? Take your inventory right now. Begin to ask yourself, how can I increase that? Come on, how can this thing increase on the inside of me? We need faith. We need faith. We are to able to open our, when we are able to open our hearts to the possibilities of miracles, to the possibility of signs, and to the possibility of wonders, we see them becoming normal in our everyday space. Miracles occur when the impossible becomes reality. Sickness is healed. Provision unexplainably comes. We see money in the mouth of fish. That is the supernatural. Dead people are raised to life. We see Jesus calling forth, uh, calling forth a woman out of her deathbed and telling her to rise. We see this supernatural model, and God wants us to move into that. These things still happen today, but here in America, they are scarce because we refuse to believe. We don't have to pray because all we got to do is work hard enough, and the thing that we want will come, right? We can pay for it. But in other countries, they got to pray. They got to pray for bread. They got to pray for milk. They got to pray for eggs. They got to pray for food. They got to pray until it manifests. And these were the days that they were in, even in the early church, because they had to pray. And Jesus had to come, and he had to produce a miracle. He said, bring me what? Bread and fish and let me multiply it. Come on. This is the supernatural realm in operation. And so many of us, we don't tap into it because we don't have to. We won't look to God. We'll look to a person. We'll look to a system. We'll look to a second job and a third job and a fourth job until it manifests. But what would happen if you would take that same faith that you put in a system, that you put in a job, and speak to it. Come on in here. Come on, look around and tell somebody, open up your mouth and begin to speak. Open up your mouth and begin to speak. 
Say, open up your mouth and begin to speak. Pray in the Holy Ghost right there. Speak to your faith level. Come on, somebody just access faith for supernatural debt cancellation. I felt it in the Holy Ghost. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. See, when you're trying to get something from God, you can't live in shame. You ever seen, you ever seen believers pray in other countries? You ever seen that? Whoa. It's intense. It's full of fire. And they pray until what they see comes into the earth realm. What they see in the, in the, in the spirit, they pray until it manifests in the earth realm. Come on. I feel it rising now. coming into the days of the great showdown. I hear you, God. It's about to be a showdown. Where darkness won't be able to come into the presence of light. The light of God is going to bring our enemies to an open shame. Pray. Come. Let it come, let it come, let it come. Hey. Let it come, let it come, let it come, let it come. Yes. There's a clash happening in the realm of the spirit. The enemy is pushed back because of the power of our God. God is never afraid. And neither is he mocked. When there is great resistance, Let's the supernatural release in the name of Jesus. This is why when God brings you out of bondage, he gives you power over it. When you've been truly brought out, this is why. This is the supernatural in operation. This is God's way of bringing enemies to an open shame. Yes, come on. He said, I gotta bring you out in order to give you dominion over. But you can't claim it, it's scriptural until you have dominion over it. 
I don't care how much you decree, how much you try to manifest. Come on in here. Say, I've been given dominion. Say it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God reminds Satan of his. He reminds Satan, your enemies, of his power. So he brings you out. Say, that's supernatural. And then gives me power kingdom like it's 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 real remember i told you you can't trick it it's like you can't trick god it recognizes authority it knows it senses it it sees it it feels it it knows when light shows up we see this in the case of the sons of skiba where they try to pretend Remember? And what happened? They turned and they got their behinds ripped. Because the kingdom, as it relates to the supernatural, there is no manipulation. Lest we become witches in Christian clothing. We have to be careful. I know that many people are drawn to apostolic and prophetic houses because of that power. Where there is real power, light and dark will draw because they're interested. Darkness is interested in the power we have access to. When they see us on the street, they say things like, there is such a light around you. There is such a horror around you. I'm drawn to, to, to what you carry. There is something about you. But it's really the power. Remember that time we were over in the community center and that woman kept showing up. Remember the woman kept showing up. And finally, I said to her, I know what you're here for. I know why you've come. I know what you're attracted to. But there is only one way to gain this power. And that is through Jesus Christ. I looked at her. I said, you know what I'm talking about, my lady? And she said, yes. And I said, great. Then she never came back because she didn't want Jesus. She just wanted the power. She didn't want his ways. She just wanted the power. Somebody say sorcery. have to be wise we have to be discerning because sometimes in our pursuit of the supernatural and I taught you the same thing about the will of God but sometimes in our pursuit for the supernatural sometimes in our pursuit uh, for power we access uh, realms illegally and it brings us into levels of warfare but not just levels of warfare it also can bring you into a uh, 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 it can bring you into proximity with divination. And so it's important that you give your life to the Lord. Surrender your life to the Lord. Now I'm going to pause because I said I'm going to spend a lot of time teaching about truth and showing light from darkness because it's important for me to remove the ignorance from the culture that I've been given governance over. And in, and in order for me to do that, I have to teach you truth but I have to and I also have to show you uh, what is what is good what is bad what is light and what is darkness so all, throughout this series if, whether I'm teaching or whoever I appoint to teach we're going to be outlining the good from the bad because there is a level of mixture in the body of Christ right now that God is coming after and so it is important that as we are pursuing as I'm teaching about the supernatural that your gifts and all that you have been given access to are governed by the Holy Spirit and leadership because anything outside of the model that God sets 
you have access illegally. And so there's a negative fascination with the supernatural. And the enemy loves to exploit our hunger. And he loves to use that to enslave us to false power. He'll give you promises and he can't deliver. And this makes leaning into or learning about, I'm sorry, learning about the Holy Spirit so much more important. Which is why I gave you that assignment at the beginning of my message. I want you to begin to just study scriptures. Only scriptures. Not books for this week. Scriptures. Read the Bible. But do not read the Bible by the letter. Read the Bible and pray for understanding. In order to understand what a scripture is talking about, you must understand context. You must understand the setting. Why what was being said is being said. And understanding all of that, you can have a full understanding of what a particular scripture means. Give yourself to the Holy Spirit over these next seven days and let him teach you. I'm going to pray for you at the end of this service because there is a level of understanding that's going to hit this house that you've not seen. And I believe that this understanding is going to bring us into new realms of faith. You felt that, Trent? New realms of faith and new realms of opportunity because of what you believe about your God. If you believe that he can do it, it will come to you. And this is not that demonic thing that we hear going around called manifesting. This is not that. Faith, I said counterfeits, remember? Faith is different from that. I'm not thinking about something long enough for it to manifest. No, I am trusting the God that has the power to make it manifest. Amen. We want to be wise. We want to be discerning. So we can recognize the counterfeit. You need to be able to understand what is true and what is the counterfeit. We want people to know our God. We want people to know about the power of our God. But we want it to also be a, a pure demonstration of that power. Amen. As it relates to deliverance, we, must, we see the supernatural in the realm of deliverance. This is a part of one of the dominant giftings of our house to bring people into freedom because of the type of people that I'm called to and what the people that I'm called to are called to do. Amen. Which is why we're going into teaching you about deliverance and raising a generation of deliverance. For those of you that have given yourself to the ministry of deliverance, who have consecrated yourself and submitted yourself to the ministry of of the Holy Spirit to leadership and deliverance, we're going to release a whole new wave of deliverers that's going to set the captives free. That's going to set the captives free. We think about the, the deliverance. It is an act of God. Say so it's an act of God. I got seven minutes. It is an act of God. Jesus Christ himself steps from heaven to earth and he interrupts the cycle of sin and bondage in our lives. Jesus, uh, deliverance is the only ministry in which Jesus himself comes into a room. Outside of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, there is no deliverance. He literally comes into a room. Sometimes the terror that you feel when that deliverance anointing is coming is not because you're really afraid. Oh God, I'm so... Sometimes those devils are recognizing that Jesus has stepped into the room. I have seen people get up and run out. <laughs> she said yes. I have seen people get up and run out. And I said, oh, the kingdom has come. Ooh. The kingdom has come. Here, listen. When you carry power, it's not boastful. You carry it. It's a part of you. 
You don't have to announce it. It announces itself. When I come into a room, I don't have to announce myself. The presence of God is with me. It is felt. He is felt. He is sometimes seen. And he is known in my life. That's what it means to be a light carrier. To be a kingdom carrier. Come on, clap your hands and say, I'm a kingdom carrier. If you are a carrier of the kingdom, there is an authority that comes when darkness will become completely uncomfortable around you. Mark 16, 17 through 18 says, these signs will follow those who believe. In my name, they will cast out demons. They will speak with new tongues, and they will take up ser serpents. And if they drink anything deadly, it will by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. This is the kingdom in the earth. Every believer has access to this power. Every believer who has been converted has access to this power. Let me tell you the thing about deliverance though. Even if you aren't say even if you aren't uh, made completely whole, I'll just put it that way, fully free. If you use the name Jesus, people are going to get delivered. But here's the thing about that. No, that wasn't what I'm going to say. Thank you for preaching with me, though, brother. <laughs> here's the thing about it. People will get free, but then it will turn back on you. It backfires. I know they told you that once you're free, the fight is over. That is a lie. It is not biblical. Hold on. Luke 11, 24, we find this in three places in the Gospels. When an unclean spirit comes out of a man, it passes through and place, it passes through and places seeking rest and does not find it. Then it says, I will return to the house of I left. 25 says, on its return, it finds the house swept and clean and put in order. Then it goes and does what? Bring, grab some friends. Bring seven other spirits more wicked than itself. And they go in and dwell there. Their final plight of that man is worse is worse than the first deliverance 101 deliverance 101 don't you ever think should I save this for next week <laughs> that you have the luxury or the liberty once you've been to act as if you have no enemy. Oh. To act as if one and done. That's it. 
Number one, some deliverance is progressive. It happens in stages. Everything might not come out the first time. Praise the Lord. But you have a responsibility to govern your house, to secure your house, to ensure that you are living a life, listen to me, that is pleasing to the Lord and that you live a life of prayer. Does that mean that your prayer life looks like mine? No. It just means that whatever your level is, you are faithful over it. That means if your level is 15 minutes a day, you are faithful over it. That means that if your level is, uh, uh, I don't want to say three times a week because you should be praying daily. Nevertheless, you should be increasing and not declining because the devil goes about and he is waiting for the opportunity to re-enter your house. That's why when people say, I don't know why people keep going to the altar. They keep going to the altar. Such and such and such and such. I'm like, you don't know what's happening with that person's soul. You have no clue what is going on in the heart and the mind of the person. If they have to come every week, let them come every week. But it's just like the devil to try to put shame on people. To make them not come to the God that saved them, that has the power to heal them. All right. God took me out there. God wants to deliver to make you deliver us. We must be compassionate. We must lean in to the ministry of deliverance. I heard a story one time, and I'm going to close. In this church, um, say, say it's supernatural. In this church, we had uh, all ministries represented. They had healing. They had deliverance. They had, uh, they had um, uh, prophecy. All of the gifts were represented. And one day, um, they decided that they no longer needed deliverance. That they would just work the rest of the gifts and do away with the deliverance portion because they invited a person to come and speak that taught them that it was over. It was the one and done. When Jesus died, that was all. Jesus says, the kingdom comes when deliverance comes, right? And so if, if, if by the finger of God, by the finger of God, if, if we see Jesus doing this throughout his ministry tenure, why do we take this away? There are some people that won't come to this church right now because we cast out devils. He said deliverance is the children's bread. And it was a woman that was not of this kingdom that had enough sense to know that she wanted it. She said, Jesus, what? Give me the crumbs. I will take the crumbs. And we have to, what? Even the crumbs. No, that was for her. Our portion is the loaf. And we have to remember this. This ministry this, the manifestation of the kingdom is deliverance. It is breakthrough. So don't you ever let anybody make you feel ashamed. All right, I'm going on a tangent now. God is looking to set people free through you. And you will not always be able to bring them to church and I'm not saying take them to your house now do it if you want to do not call me do not I'm going to say talk to the Holy Ghost we all need training 
You see me casting out hundreds of devils at one time. I was trained. Yeah, that's called maturing in your gift. Be all right with, with what your measure is. Saying that to say, you may not be able to bring a person to the church, but if you live a life that is consecrated, your presence, your shadow, your conversation, all of these things can bring people into freedom. There are many facets of deliverance, many facets of the kingdom, and it does not all look the same. And it's time for you to become acquainted with who it is that God, sorry, who it is that God has made you. What does it look like? What does God want to do through you? The kingdom carrier that you are. The one that has been called to walk in authority and power. What does he want to do through you? We see one more example of this. Jesus is coming out of a town. The town was crowded. And he crosses over the sea and there's a lot of stuff, turbulence happening. He gets to the other side and he, 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 he gets off the boat. And the man starts crying out by Jesus' presence. What does he say? Oh, why have you come? to torment me with your presence you can become so consecrated where your presence becomes tormenting and this is what God wants to do not tormenting people but tormenting what's in them there is a weight that is coming on evangelism that the because because of the presence of Jesus that you're going to carry you're going to come up and you're going to communicate the gospel of Jesus Christ to them. And in that same moment where there has been darkness, light will come in the name of Jesus. Where they have been bound, come on in here, deliverance will come. I'm telling you, if you will begin to step out and trust God and communicate, be a witness for Jesus Christ. There is a power that's going to come on you. It's coming in the church and it's going to manifest come on in here over the next six months I prophesy if you would come into agreement with who you've been called to be outside of a title and outside of all of those things but just in your witness you're going to see God move through you like he has never moved come on if you feel like that words for you I want you to begin to praise God come on and receive it and receive it Jesus had one word come out of that man one sentence rather come out of him and he was free it's time for the healing power of God to manifest the delivering power of God say I want it I am a kingdom carrier say I'm a kingdom carrier I'm a kingdom carrier yeah in the name of Jesus pray in the spirit Power and authority is given in measures. Pray. Your measure is not my measure. My measure isn't yours. Your sister's is not yours. Which is why we got to come out of comparison. Going to flow in power. You're going to flow in authority. Come on. It's time for you to be authentically you. Come on. Feel. See what God wants to do through your life. See what God wants to do through your life. See it. See it. Pray and see it. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Come on. Hallelujah. And for these things, we give you praise. And for these things, we give you worship. And for these things, we give you honor. Come on. It's time for you to divorce every idea of it being for everybody else and not for you. It's time for you to be discerning, to understand the day that you are living in. It's not just for them. He's going to bring you into it too. In the name of Jesus. Father, we give you glory. Come on. We give you honor. We give you worship. We give you praise and adoration for what you are doing. We thank you that you have given us keys. You have given us the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And you said that whatsoever we bind in the earth, it shall be bound in heaven. Come on. We thank you, Father, for the power of binding and loosing. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for authority. We thank you for what you were doing. Come on, pray. In our lives, in the name of Jesus, I want you to pray until God begins to show you a vision of what he's going to do through you. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I want you to pray until you get a vision. Yeah, God gets no pleasure out of seeing you move in ignorance. Seeing things that you can easily grab a hold of and around with the spirit through prayer and faith be withheld from you. In the name of Jesus, may your faith increase. May your ability increase. May your, the light of Jesus Christ increase inside of you. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, just for a moment. We thank you for the power of the blood now. The blood of Jesus Christ that is even over this sanctuary that covers your sons and your daughters. Let the kingdom of God begin to manifest in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Jesus, you finished the work on the cross. You hung out with us for a few days. And then you went up to heaven. And you sat down. And then you administered a power, yes, to us through the power of the Holy Ghost. Father, right now, we access new levels of power according to what you would grant to us. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you that every area in our life that we have illegally accessed, come on and pray. Come on, Labba Sotai. You shut the door in the name of Jesus. And you've given to us according to the measure in which we are prepared for. Father, we thank you that what you would do to us, eyes have not seen, and neither has ears heard, and neither has it come into the mind, into the heart of man, what you would do. But I decree that the days of exploits and manifestation are upon us in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, I decree and declare, Father, that not just deliverance, but healing in diverse tongues and all that you have given us by way of the Holy Spirit, we gain in access to according to your word. In the name of Jesus, Father, forgive us for where we have accessed things, oh yes, by ambition and avenues and which you have not given us authority. God, we want to move according to your way and your word. Pray. God, thank you for what you are opening up over us. Come on, pray this individually. What you are opening up over me. Let my eyes see it. Oh, my God. Gone are the days that you walk in a place. Oh, yes. Of timidity and backing down from the enemy. But I decree that the day is here. That you would move in a new level of authority. The authority that Jesus would issue to you in the name of Jesus I decree and declare Lord that as you open up their understanding you let them know what their measure is what their rule is in this kingdom that you have given them come on and pray in the mighty name of Jesus the blood prevails I decree and 
declare, Father, wherever the enemy has oppressed them, he has pushed them down and made them believe that they were not worthy of this thing that you've called them to. Father, I decree and declare as sons of God gather, as sons of God petition, as sons of God seek you, that you would deal, Father, with every area of false humility in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree, Father, that even as Silebe Onduli Kitianjaya, even as you have called us, Father, to be carriers of your light, I decree, God, that darkness will not settle where I am, but let there be a tormenting aspect of the mantle that you have given me to cause devils to leave in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare, Father, oh God, Lord, we're not looking with our natural eyes because your word says that it cannot be seen by natural observation, but we are looking in the realm of the spirit, prayer. in the name of Jesus. We are looking in the realm of the spirit. We want to see it. We want to see it. We want to see it. Show us, God, for this house what you have called us to collectively. Show them, God, for their lives what you have called them to individually. Hey, in the name of Jesus, I decree that there is a stirring and even an awakening. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. In every area of that life that has been dormant that has been dormant that has died that you did not call to death in the name of Jesus I thank you Lord oh my God that their gifts will not supersede the character Lord by so oh God in the name of Jesus pray I decree and declare Father that you're causing the power of evangelism oh yes to come upon this church in the name of Jesus come on I decree God that you're causing a power and a weight to come. I don't need it to come on their witness in the name of Jesus I decree God that you're giving them the unique ability to communicate what the kingdom really is I decree now God in the name of Jesus I thank you Lord that you are causing your people to come into an understanding of even new levels of prayer new levels of intercession concerning the assignment on this house in the name of Jesus I decree and declare father that when their identity has been hijacked locked down as a result oh God oh God of inferiority I decree and declare father that you're giving them confidence in the realm of the spirit I thank you God that your kingdom is coming that it is manifesting in your sons and in your daughters in the name of Jesus God I thank you that we're not accessing gifts without the gift giver we're not accessing them God I say oh Lord oh Lord oh Lord never let their gifts the manifestation of their gifts outweigh their pursuit for you in the name of Jesus God we push in the realm of the spirit and we say we want it all we say we want it all we say we want it all hey everything that you have reserved for us everything that you have preserved for this time and for this hour we want it all come on in Jesus name I decree and declare father oh Lord that the stranger will not access oh Lord what you have reserved for your sons and your daughters I decree that there is a blocker in the realm of the spirit every trespasser shall bow to the name of Jesus the power of the blood prevails I thank you oh God for your for your limitless power hey let the power and the spirit of revival let it begin to stir in your daughters let it begin to stir in your sons in the name of Jesus the Christ I thank you Lord oh yes even as you have called this house to be carriers of life I decree that life is coming life is coming life is coming to your sons and daughters to every area of their life 
somebody pray in the name of Jesus we decree and declare Father where there is death where there are dead things we beat the budget in the realm of the spirit and we decree where there is hey where there are dead things life is coming home in the name of Jesus I thank you oh my God oh my God oh my God for what you're doing I thank you for life I thank you for life I decree that life is coming now to every area of the finances every area oh my God of their life I decree life life hey life hey Life hey, 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 life life and the best subaka, jate kepe ebe eliata, o paraviaso la siata la bekoshata. Thank you, God. Let the angels begin to move in this house. I decree that there are defibrillators in the realm of the spirit. And we thank you. We thank you that your heart shall pump again. Shall breathe again. You'll breathe again. You'll breathe again. You'll never can. You'll never can. You'll never can. Come on. In the name of Jesus, come on and pray. Pray. Pray, 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 pray. Shaka tama na bani endo na bokota. Yes, say, say, say. My God, my God. Come on, I want to hear you in this house. Pray. Shaka tapa na bokata. Rata ta na 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 bekate. Randa na na bekota na na ba na na ta. I crush the head of every python spirit in the name of Jesus that have come to take life out of you, that have come to restrict itself around you. Uncoil, 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 in the name of Jesus. Hey, Lada Bosso, Sakata, come on, come on, come on. I love a shit of fire. I crush your head. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost burn now. Oh, every enemy, we send you running in the spirit. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. In the name of Jesus the Christ. Pray. Come on. That's it, baby. Come on. Let it come up. Let it come up. Shaka. Rostava. Rote be Ah. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Life. Life. Hey. Life. Come on. Keep praying, come on. Go up one more night, go. 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 Pray. 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 I call life back into you. I call breath back into you. I call strength back into you. I call it back, hey. In the name of Jesus the Christ. In the name of Jesus the Christ, in the name of Jesus the Christ, we say, let your kingdom come. Yeah. Let your kingdom, let it come, 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 come into her, let the kingdom manifest. Oh. Hey! Keep praying! Hey! Say hey! Hey! Keep praying! Keep praying! Keep praying! Keep praying! Keep praying! Keep praying! Oh! 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 So many of us are higher, 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 higher
the cold to pull the horse to bed. Keep praying, keep praying, keep praying. Keep praying, keep praying, keep praying. Keep praying, keep praying, keep praying. I release the spirit of revival. I release it. I release. Oh. Hey. Hey. Your life, if you tap into this, your life will never be the same. Hey. Let thy kingdom come. Let thy will be done. Let thy kingdom come. Let thy will be done. Let thy kingdom come. Come on. Let thy will be done. Come on. Let thy kingdom come. Let thy will be done. Life. 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 We speak life. your belly come out let it come 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 come on come on come on come on come on come on Three with everything you got. One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. We want it. Here it comes, here it comes. Here it comes, here it comes. Here it comes, here it comes. Open up. Here it comes, here it comes. Here comes the Holy Ghost. Here it comes, here it comes. One more time. On the count of three, one, two, three. Go. Here it comes, here it comes. It's called travail. It's called travail. Come on. Here it comes, here it comes. It's called travail. Here it comes, here it comes. Let the spirit of travail be upon this house. Yeah. 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 Shaka Bora Voko Chaka. Here it comes, here it comes. 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 Come here. Here it comes, here it comes. Stop ahead. One more time. There's a level of intensity that was about to hit you, personally. Say, God, I want it. Baptize me again. One, two, three. Go, 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 hey, go, go, hey. Yeah, here we go. 
parada roste bere bere bete be rata parada kata rata roste bete bere bere taba rope de be rope on dele kiti daba rata rata da kapa kapa rata de de bere bere india da ya da rata da da ba da ba kata da ba da ba kata da ba roche kapa roste bere Michaela, come on! Masaka para boko 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 boko. Anda na bere bere bete na bere kete bere na kete ba. Rata para boko 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 boko. Rata na na bara bata na bara bata ti ata. Rata na kata na dia manchete. Rata na na bata na bata kota. Clarice, call your daughter. Call her out of there. I call you out of that prison, out of that cave. In the name of Jesus. Come amongst them and be separate. Come on, intercessor. Come on, intercessor. Come on. Come on. Come on and pray. to begin to intercede. I feel it in the room. Oh! Shahara banda la kata la ba adiata la tapa la ba kata la ba la ba to she le iti anta kapa ha ba ta la ba la ba to to po po la kata la la ma diata na mi da po to la tele be ra ba ta la la ba kata la in the name of
Don't force her to move if she's not ready. the crown. Power. Oh, King. Oh, King, our King forever. words of adoration if you can if you can't be silent before him 